We should make an interactive bracket. Yeah. So Your favorite fans, episode. Uh, people always do brackets this time of year. This is the time of year where brackets rule the world. They put brackets on everything. Brackets. We got a basketball bracket. Yep. Yeah. And they, then everybody's like, you know, we should do a bracket on. And it's busted. So. Everything. I used to do a bracket every year on uh, random unrelated things. That was my favorite one. What should our bracket be? We should make one for the fans. Or at least have the fans submit one, and then we'll make one, and then we can decide. We can fill I it vote, out. I vote for food. Fried chicken. Best fried, fried chicken, chicken in the world. Yeah. Chick-fil-A is a one seed. We're not going to be able Popeye's is a, the number one overall Whoa, whoa. Seed. I like churches. We're not going to be. Whoa. See, that's why we need a bracket. <laughs> hey, you like church's chicken? When me and Cy si were in Miami... They said, we went to a restaurant. No, you did not go to Miami and eat Church's Chicken. Uh, no, 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 oh, we didn't. No. But, but okay. this is the tip I got. Because that's a great food town. I went, we <laughs> were, he brought some home with him in his suitcase. Well, <laughs> nah, he probably did do that. So We were at a swanky joint where we were eating, and it was swanky. I went in the men's room, and when I came out, the guy handed me a towel, and I washed my hands, and he said, try the fried chicken. It's the best you've ever eaten. The best. So I try fried chicken in Miami, and Church has got it beat by far. Oh my god! Bad call. I had the filet mignon. It was and excellent. that was good. It was That's excellent. what I should have went with. Way to go out on a limb. I will say the yeah. best fried chicken I've ever had. My friend has a restaurant in St. Louis. Yeah, and you can't beat that. You can't. Grace beat Meat and Three. If you're in St. Louis, go to Grace Meat and Three. See my boy so Rick. The problem if we do fried chicken, man, there's a lot of gas stations around the world. Like we ain't gonna be able to sample it. Some of it we just gonna have to like well, guess at. We 64. I mean, huh? We just guess the best 64. My boy Rick's a one seed against Popeyes. Uh oh. <laughs> well, see, I, Popeyes, you can't boys. do that unless you can sit them out here and like. Hunter, I need you to order a 64. Well, times four. Different gonna, pieces different. of fried chicken. 64 fried chicken. buckets, boys. And, Six, and buckets. for me, there needs to be at least 64 thighs. Yeah, I was about to say all thighs, Ooh. baby. So, or legs. No, get off that. Side leg. likes the legs. Hey, the legs are good. Thighs or wings? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No. I like legs. 64 legs. Right. Let's, let's get the legs, boys. Phillip's a leg, man. He's 5'6. I, I, <laughs> that's 5'7. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's I mean, five, hey, seven, buddy. hey, give me more credit. Or, like, give me, give me that, uh, hey. I'm sorry. We Phil. would have a good bracket here because the people that listen to this are from little old sweet ladies to. 12 year old kids I know, i'm kind of interested if they'll send their own in but like how quick can it get here or do they just fried bring it, chicken yeah or they just bring it in in a basket oh or man like, oh that would like be people real. start showing up with that baskets full nice. of fried chicken and leaving <laughs> it in the nice. we've got your fried chicken everybody brought in their own bucket of chicken tell me okay try mine yeah <laughs> i i mean don't dare me to i like the time. idea you come up here boy yeah Dang. and i'm gonna tell you i like kane's chicken i know that's not everywhere but that's mm, good chicken I mean, it's solid all they do is chicken Strips, chicken yeah. strips, boneless chicken. Si, you don't eat boneless chicken, do you? <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Oh, yeah. Are you? Getting, <laughs> he was trying to make a joke here. Yeah. Oh boy, I ain't going that route, boy. <laughs> he ain't going that route. Uh, I ain't going that route. So is that what our? Is that? I mean, are we? I good? don't think we do fried chicken. No, we could do movies, but then it would be like we'd have to have a full bracket of westerns for Sai. Yeah, that would be the Southwest region. <laughs> <laughs> um, cattle drive, son. Cattle it's drive. all about cattle drives. What about snacks? Where's the Because we can. Pro- that is Where's actually our bangs. Hey, that's we a good can one. procure snacks. Where's that's the right. beef? Like, we could get sixty-four snacks. Yeah. Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes, clearly a one. Seat. Nobody has to send those in because I'm very well aware how they taste. Yeah, well, I can I can vote on that one without eating. One we're gonna myself. taste it anyway. <laughs> uh-huh. That's clearly a one seed. I don't see dots it getting pretzels. Upset. That's that's a one seed. Is that a one seed? Well, it it is. That might be a two seed. I, I'm I'm a. I'm a Dots pretzels man, not oh, not okay. a not a regulation pretzel. I need a man. whiteboard. Yeah, well, we'll just have to make it. So, fans, hello at duckcallroom.com. Submit your favorite snacks. snacks. If there's some kind of regional thing that we won't know nothing about, address is 117 Kings Lane, West Monroe, Louisiana. You got to send it here. Bring it. Right. So fake we can it, fake it till you make it. But like, if it's peanut M and M's, I get that. Mm. We know what those taste like. We can I put really them there. Love what you just did there. What's that? We gave them our address so we get more snacks. Well, if it's regional, don't send us nothing we can go buy. Like, But if it's something that's hard to get some places, you're going to have to send it in if you want us to vote on it. Oh, yeah. I found one online. 
of snacks uh, found a, uh, this or a is, blank bracket? Cheez-Its are not a one seed, people. They're not. No. Whoever made yeah. this bracket, get out. Yeah, that's out. that's out. Cheez-Its a one seed? I, mean, I like Cheez-Its, but uh, well, they're now, not. Now, Butterfinger is going to have to be a one seed. Uh, what? Yeah. For re- Butterfinger? And, and anything with chocolate almonds has got to be at right. least a two seed. Okay. Oh, fills okay. out. Okay. Fills out. No. no. Hold on. No. We're doing this when you're not here. Oh, no. Yeah, we got, no, we're going to have to bring, hey, in, to bring in the big uh, god oh, one. Uh-uh. One seed, send some, hey. Send some sugar. one for... seed. Hey. Almond, chocolate. Hey, it's two seeds. There you go. Thank you, Si. <clears throat> so, hey. I'm confused. You're dazed and confused. That's right. What? I'm not dazed and confused. I'm well. I mean, look. Oh, at both it. Do you really y'all. think his both opinion on food? So is valid? butterfingers and chocolate almonds. Oh hey, you well, can't there's going to be some upsets in round that, that, one. Oh, no, there's got to be a oh, no, no We're going to have a sixteen beat a one. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm with Sal on this one. one. So we need like a, a salty snack bracket, a sweet bracket, candy. Yeah, if you're into that. Who's not into candy? I don't really care for candy, but are you talking about like? Swedish fish and junk for, like that. You're not in for a good bunch of almonds that mixed with chocolate. That, that's not candy. Yeah, that's, oh, like that's that would be in the chocolate. Yeah. There's that's gonna be snack. his own chocolate. That's what. Yeah. Okay. And then when he's got, talking about candy, he's talking about like airheads, airheads, and dead I gum, love airheads. Mike and Ike, sweet and stuff tarts. like that. Sweet tarts, Smarties, all that kind Skittles. of stuff. Skittles, Mentos. He's talking about junk. Huh? What he about? <laughs> he's talking about little he's forms. About that's junk. the category. Little yeah. forms hey. of solidified sugar we're with different. To, we're going to to, y'all got too many brackets going here. Yeah, well, there's got to be sixty four right. of them. So we're gonna have the. Why well, we gotta have sixty four? Because that's what a bracket is. What are, are oh. we not doing? And the I'm, full? A, I'm gonna say like Trisket. Then we're gonna be like a fifteen seed. They gonna pull an upset because <laughs> Trisket's cool. <true. laughs> and then we are gonna have the snack cakes. Mm. Then we're going to have honey chocolate buns? And then we're going to have candy and honey So Dot's Pretzels is going to be up there with the Triscuits And the Cheez-Its Which is like an 8 seed at best Boy, That's, a, oh, that's, that's, really that's the one cheese. seed taking it all the way home oh, hey. uh, It's we got just, a good shot We need to include, <laughs> good include shot, yeah. uh, Some potato chips and beef jerky As far as snacks go Beef jerky just No beef off. jerky's out What? Yeah, we, we're at, at beef jerky What about it? They're going to have to be a play-in. They're going to have to yeah. go. We're going to have to have a 68 team right field <laughs> have a play-in game. But a Slim some... Jim could win the whole thing. <laughs> a Slim Jim could if win the whole thing. <laughs> if we're throwing Slim Jim yeah. in here, then somebody go get a can of Vienna sausage. I mean, like. That's you want to talk about the ultimate hey, 16 Vienna seed. Vienna sausage, buddy. Uh, yeah, Vienna I mean, sausage is going to get blown out. By who? By everybody. <laughs> Not by Slim Jim. <laughs> Not no, by Slim I agree Jim. with you. Yeah. Martin, not by. I mean, yeah. this is not. No. So no, Slim Jim's not that great. Hey, you talking about? Hey, Slim Jim's is the lowest part of the totem pole. <laughs> hey, you tell him, sir. <laughs> Unless y'all want to buy advertising, then we're going to talk about how much we love it at slimjim.com <laughs> slash duck. No, 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 no. Go to slimjim.com. the bills, buddy. Step into the duck car. I room. mean, this is do a Slim Jim. Yeah, it's a it's if, a soft sell, but if y'all want it, we got slots. If I no, ever um, sponsored. By a company that also sponsored Macho Man Randy Savage. That's a win. That's going on my tombstone. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't like, like a very small part of it. Hey, you going no, to work, you, you just going need to, to get like a now. little carving of Randy Savage in the corner. Oh, hey, you can yeah. work. Jim Brothers. You're going Worcester now. Do you go out to wear them weird glasses, though? Them like full. Those things are sweet. Oh, boy. I've been thinking about getting into weird sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sell enough of them. <laughs> Oh. These new age fishermen like them big walled mirror things. You might as well get you some of them. That's not a bad idea, Martin. See, you can probably sell them to every high schooler around here. As long as you get Ooh. white frames on them. Sun chips. Them garden salsa slap. <laughs> the garden salsa. Them, that's them, a three seed at least. Them garden salsa slap. See, this is the problem. Yeah, that's this is. 64 is going to be tough to narrow this joker down to. It's really going to be – the problem is it's going to bring a self-awareness of just how unhealthy we are. <laughs> well, that's okay because we take our vitamins in the morning with one scoop. So. That's right. <laughs> but – Well, well I, you know – But I, I guarantee you we're going to get more than 75 or something in us after that's there, all said. There is a thing about snacks. They they rule, but you got moderation. Otherwise, you end up like me, you know, a year and a half ago. Yeah. Not but man, if so, if, but if we end up with like one of them one pound bags of peanut M and M's, I'm in trouble. Because <laughs> you can't I quit eating them. Tell you right now, peanut M and M's on the chocolate scale—that's good. 
That's a solid. <laughs> but I mean, it can't be above a Reese's egg. See? That's a one See, seed. That's what I'm that's saying. That's a one seed. <laughs> what about the marshmallow peeps? <laughs> they're not even in the top sixteen. Man. What? Yeah, didn't make the tournament. Man. Yeah, like they're they're down there in the Mid American Conference battling for fifth. <laughs> yeah, like, you talking about I mean, the NIT in, tournament? What are we talking no, about? No, they ain't even in the NIT. <laughs> like they're they're already on the recruiting trail right now. Like they're they're calling all the guys that. Never mind. Anyway. They, got, they, got Any recruiting, they got recruiting. They got recruiting. They got issues. Yeah, peeps are once a year. Mm, peeps equal gar. <laughs> yeah, Uh-oh. that's what that is. No, I'm with you. It's gar a gar. Mega gar. Hey, gar ball. I'd rather have a gar ball he's than being, a peep. Like, he's being walk. quiet. I'm. Are you into peeps? No, I mean, I like peeps, but I eat them once a year. I mean, I got some out in the truck. Candy, mean, speaking of once Easter's a year, coming up. candy corn. So let's just before we go to break, let's I just agree. let's break With down that. why Phil can't be a judge. <laughs> This is not a hot issue. Oh, oh, he brings oh. home leftover hamburger and chicken and dumplings from, from the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. Hold on. I did that road. twice. I you did that road. twice. You fly to Miami and eat fried chicken. Yep. From because Church. the guy in the bathroom told me it was delicious. Wait, the, it was in the bathroom? Yeah, the guy handed me the towel and said, try the chicken. You never oh, left. Oh, it, it was a left bathroom left attendant. You yeah. never left to anybody in Miami. But if in his the opinion was valid, they'd have had him at the host stand. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you hear nothing else from this podcast ever That's in right. your life, don't ever listen to a man in the in a Miami bathroom. Yeah, yeah. if we give you any advice, hey. take that. <laughs> I see London. I see France. <laughs> I see sign. It's Tommy John underpants. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's a boy. don't know it. Tommy, Tommy's you. back. You Look. know what I slept in last night though? Nothing. Them, well, oh. <laughs> it felt like nothing. Right. Them yeah, Tommy boy. John lounge pants. It was a little chilly, so I put on them lounge wear pants. Yeah. Oh, they're so comfortable. That way your hair don't grow on your legs at night. That's what Brittany tells me she's sleeping with pants on at night for, so I don't even know. But look, when you're young, spring break is all about what you take off as an adult. Make it be about what you put on. A. And this spring, put on some Tommy Johns. As it starts to warm up, you want to stay cool. Stay cool with Tommy John. They have everything you need. When you wear Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Tommy John's loungewear, pajamas, and underwear have dozens of comfort innovations like luxuriously soft travel and micromodal fabrics. With a four-way stretch. Not one way, not two way. Four-way. Four way. Four way. It go ways. everywhere. That's the way. That's 4D. Right. That's, that's wild. That's better than 3D. That's unbelievable. Tommy John's been covering our butts for 15 years, protecting our most valuable assets in softness and style. With over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews, People love Tommy John. That's why Tommy John's don't have customers. Well, they right, got, we've got fanatic, fanatic. boys. We're, and you're looking at one of them. We're mad about them. He's wearing a yellow shirt, right. and I bet his I, underwear match. Oh, yeah, it is. And they're all made by Tommy John. <laughs> right. You can get size and underwear. And they stretch four ways, boys. <laughs> you can't beat them, I'm It's a four-way you. stretch. Look, right. one fanatic said, I bought a pair. And then two days later, he bought every color in that pair that they had because he loved them so much. He loved them that much. He shops like me. Once I find something I like, I go all in on it. Mm -hmm. So everything is backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free, guaranteed. But don't take our word for it. Take the Fanatic's word for it. Everybody loves them. Look, Cy loves them. 17 Philip million. loves them. I yep. love them. Johnny D loves them. You're going to love them. Shop Tommy John's colorful new spring design at TommyJohn.com slash duck and get 20% off your first order. Save 20% right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. duck. See site for details. That's right. Oh, well, I got You're disqualified from being a judge. And you take advice from a man in a Miami bathroom. I did that once. If the advice was anything other than here's a mint. And when I left. Like, you're out. No, when I left, I went and found him. I said, hey, man, chicken wasn't all that. Chicken did you tip chicken him? Chicken wasn't much. No. Okay. I got a thing about that weird bathroom attendant thing. I don't like it. No, he's standing there waiting for you, sir. And he's got the hand towel. You, you, and you're you, supposed to tip him. I was just like, hey, what's up? Plant your corn early. Well, maybe maybe he gets <laughs> <Plant your corn. laughs> maybe he gets a piece of every fried chicken sale. Oh, like, hey, you know? Here, here's the news flash. <laughs> Bathrooms just remind me. Oh no. For those that have not been over to Europe and, and Germany, Germany is specifically. Okay. okay. Hey, you may go in a men's bathroom in, in Germany and there is a woman in there with a towel like he's talking about. Here's the towel. Try the chicken. 
I have that that arguably makes me more comfortable than going in there and there's a man. Well, in there, I'm just but. saying, hey, it happened. <laughs> like, I was, it freaked me out the first time it happened. I thought I'd went in the wrong room. I got something to say about bathrooms after Phil. Huh. Okay, no, I wasn't freaked out by this guy until he slid the towel underneath the stall. Then you got it got free. He just make it, he just, <laughs> he making stuff up now. I joke about that. That's Miami. <laughs> I was walking out. But can I say something about um, bathrooms in America? Because I've been to Germany. Why do our doors not shut all the way? There's like a, a six inch crack in some of these things. Not really, but yeah. like. Oh yeah, you see right what, in. What, what, can we get some privacy here? Does that never bother That's anybody no else? Good. No, I ain't there uh, long I don't enough like for that it. to bother me. Just yeah, no privacy. When I was in Germany, they had like a full door. Close it. I was like, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Like at Bucky's. Yeah. Bucky's done figured it out. Know. Close the door. I don't know. I see. I'm mm. so I want to come up with I'm a an app. pooper. <laughs> no, see, I'm not. If, oh, if, yeah, you if, drive. I mean, it I mean, I'm gonna attempt to get home. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I think I have to poop and go in a public bathroom. If I go in there, the mustache has <laughs> started sweating. Ooh. <laughs> We are in a oh, bind, no. Jack. Yeah, okay. Like, Ooh, so okay. <laughs> those things never, like, if I'm in there, it's record time because we are threat level midnight. Like, <laughs> threat in, level yeah. midnight. I mean, I'm walking in with the dude wipes ready to this roll. This is, hey, so. Houston, we have an emergency. Hey, Digging. Anytime Sai si, si tells emergency. me that we need to get to the, the restroom, when he says, hey, we need to get to the restroom, I just hammer it. I'm yeah. driving like out of control to the first restroom that we can get to. Yeah. And I want to come up with an app that you can put in and score all the bathrooms around the United States. I thought they had one of them. No. There's a bathroom rating app? No, I thought so. I well, don't I don't know Yelp of one. doesn't have a public restroom. But I want to I want I want to make an app that does that. Well, who, you who's going to score it? You? Everybody who goes to the because bathroom. Because judging by your list of snacks, I'm not following these tips either. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm just saying. Hey, like, there you go, boy. I can't where, get no where respect. Did you find, where did you get that tip? Oh, Miami bathroom. Yeah, there well, you go. Okay, quick. Try the fried chicken. While we're on this app, <laughs> now, that we've, now that we've created the app, how okay. many stars does the Miami bathroom? Do you give it a four star for the bad advice on the chicken? No, it was five star. It was it was very nice. There's no very knock nice. for the chicken advice. Yeah, the chicken now, advice. That, you one put, star. No, you put a five star, and then in the comments you say, "But don't trust attendants." Yeah, don't eat the chicken. Like bathroom was clean. Did you, that used to be a big thing, though. You were talking about the score in the bathroom. Yeah. Yo, know, and hey, look, most of the gas stations, Texaco was number one for the cleanest and nicest bathroom. Does Texaco still exist? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It, that probably, used it, to, it probably don't, but back in the 60s, okay, hey, that was number one. That's where you stopped to poop. Huh? That, that, hey, if you had to use a restroom somewhere, hey, Texaco. You was, could take your bucket in there and hey, get, you, get you, your medicine hey, done hey, and everything right, all hey. at one time. That used that's to right, be like hey. McDonald's thing. What? Clean bathrooms. They yeah. like hung their hat on that. They were like, hey. Well, now they don't go. even remember to put a piece of meat in their hamburger. So, like, <laughs> did that happen yeah. to you recently? That happened to Brittany. Not Fix me. the ice cream machine. She got bread and ketchup. She ordered the cheeseburger. Got home. It had everything but the meat. It had the cheese. Had the cheese. No How patty. You miss the no patty. <laughs> the no cheese. The cheese has to go on the meat. <laughs> Pattyless. Patty no patty. Hey. The it world we live in baby. today, man, is wild. Hey, look. Well, <laughs> hey, look. I'm tell you what, I'm going to tell you what that was. That was they was doing a test. Okay. On what? All right, if it would sail. Yeah, well. <laughs> she didn't come back for another one. She it didn't come back for another days, one, so I, it didn't work out. So did y'all used to have to pay a dime to get into the restroom? Do you remember that? Huh? No, it was a quarter. <laughs> Grief. Where? I do, back in the day when hey, I was Hey, I would I go back that. to that if they would put toilet paper in there that well, I couldn't no, no, read no. the newspaper through. Yeah, hey, that's the worst thing you ever wanted to have happen. Is, hey, you got to do number two, and hey... You're out doing your business, and hey, guess what? Look over there. No paper. No no toilet tissue. Stop by my office. I got something for you that I carry with me everywhere, and I order in bulk well, now. Well, hey, I'm just telling you. you know. <laughs> they come in individual packets. Mint fresh, you're good to go. Oh, uh, mint fresh. <laughs> There's okay, a bracket whatever. of bad things that could happen, and that's a one seat. Right. I'm to tell you. That's not terrible. Man, that's the worst thing. On the you're bad at least things that a, can you're happen. You're at least wearing a shirt and you got socks on. You can make it out of there. Oh, yeah. Socks. Like, it ain't no different than doing it in the woods. Hey, I've, hey. 
I've run a lot of good underwear and a lot anyway. And a lot of good t shirts. That's why Cy used to okay. wear 15 inch boxer jocks. Because right, he had six hey. inches of toilet paper on the bottom of every one of them. <laughs> Hold on. That's <laughs> happened hey, look, a lot. That's why, that's why I like a belt. Because anytime I had my boxer shorts on, hey, somebody hit a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, ready he's fight, ready, buddy. Martin. He's ready. ready he's fight. ready. So you've been in, you use the word a lot. You've been in a predicament in a stall with way oh, too hey. much visual confirmation through the wall. And there's been no toilet paper that many times? Oh, quite a, quite frequently. Well, he travels okay, well, a lot. That's why that's I'm true. like Martin. Okay, most of the time, no. Unless this is an emergency. No, I don't use I don't use public. I ain't bathroom. going unless that mustache yeah. sweat. Oh no, and no. we all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that okay. lip yeah. get that lip gets hot. Oh yeah, quivering. Yep, yeah. I'm just opposite. I mean, no, I, I, I ain't holding anywhere. it in, son. I'm way too regular. Well, I'm not holding it in. I'm just uh, it's not an emergency. I can make it. I've never understood that actually. What? Like you either got to go or you don't, right? No, no. No, if you you, you can't just be like, no. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm I mean, pretty, go. pretty much any time of the day. If I just went in there, I could I could let something happen. I mean, I'm not like. I mean, he, he I, said, "Hey, this is under his control." Okay? But I'm not. I mean, I'm not in there to read the newspaper but, hey, or catch up thing. on Facebook or nothing like that. Yeah. I'm in there to get a job done. Yeah, hey, I'm not a. Here's the thing. I'm not this, a nester, you know, as you would say. This like, is one hey. Everything is out of your control. You're pretty in a pretty is, vulnerable state oh yeah. when you're there this with your is, pants around yeah. your ankles taking yeah. a dump. I mean, yeah. it don't get much more vulnerable oh, as a male is, than that. Hey, when like, you've <laughs> eaten something, oh okay, my goodness. Cause you can't, disagreeing you can't with go you, nowhere. Is go, disagreeing with you and saying, hey, let me out. Well, you let them out. No, hey, that's yeah. when I start those breathing you, techniques. Hey, that's the only time that, no. <laughs> I learned that in Lamas class. Now I've went up on the bank of a many a lake. Those always seem to be the worst. Yeah. You just you you don't even worry about stumps <laughs> or nothing. You just run that sucker up on the bank. Well, don't handle your business. Well, hey, no, Phil's always said, hey, it's just better to find you a log. Well, oh, we got to get to the. Sometimes break. you just find you dry ground. Well, no, no. What I'm just saying, hey, you know, hey. Sometimes you just go find dry ground. That's all you're really after. That's interesting. <laughs> and if you're in flooded timber, a log is about the only dry right, ground you got. That's it. That's it, boy. Hey. Which is a man who's six four and bumping about two seventy five. It's quite a balancing act, but you can that's get it, it done. Hey, that's it. Are you talking about me? No, you ain't you, six four. You got to be real careful when you're wearing waders. You got to pull. <laughs> you got to pull them forward. Hey, yeah, you got to be real careful when wearing waders. It's an art to it. If you, you don't, don't, you'll be you, scooping that out. That's right. Oh, and right. that way, okay, you're just, well, that's you're, when you burn right. the waders, boy. Hey, yeah, you just go back to the barn and everybody's saying, "Hey, get out! No, get no. You ain't coming in here." Or you could be like old Curly and just use a life jacket. <laughs> that's it. Hey, y'all ain't heard that story. Hey. Hey, I, I don't want to hear it uh, right I now. I do. Oh. Take well, a break and then right. tell the story? Right. Yeah, let's do what? that. <laughs> yeah. We've talked about it on this podcast a lot. We're all trying to get healthier. We're just regular dudes trying to, you know, be our healthy best self, and that is not easy to do. But guess what? Athletic Greens makes it super easy. Phil, you've been taking it. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. He loves it. Absolutely. Look, I take it every day. And it's super simple. One scoop in a cup of water, shake that thing up, down the hatch, and boom, that's all it takes. And you're going to feel better. You're going to feel refreshed. You're going to have your immune system going on high gear. It is a fantastic product, and we can't wait for you to try it. Look, it was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. Those are things I like. I don't want to do a lot. I want everything to be easy, and this is easy. It's seriously the healthiest thing you can do in under a minute, so don't worry about all those vitamins and pills and blah, 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 blah. I got a whole case of pills at my house that I, I probably should throw them away because I ain't using them anymore. I take one scoop of Athletic Greens every morning, and that's it, and it's that simple, and I, I feel refreshed. Every morning. I do, too. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. How's it's, your gut health? It's got 75 different high-quality vitamins and minerals. And that's what we're talking about. Is your gut health good? Absolutely You good. feeling normal? Way better. You on a good schedule? I'm on a good one. That's the best. There's nothing like gut health, people. We all know it. It's weird to talk about, but it's a good thing. And look, 
they're, they believe in the product so much, we believe in the product so much, that they're kind of changing things up. It's been a game changer. Can't wait for you to try it. And now there's a 90-day money-back guarantee. If you don't like it, they give you money back. But trust me, you're going to love it. So take control over your health today, and AG1 will give you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash duck. That's athleticgreens.com slash duck. Check it out. Now, nah, Drew got stuck in an ice storm, and he was like, I ain't going to make it. I ain't going to make it. He gets to his apartment. Oh, you can't. Oh, who cares? Hey, Drew, sorry. I was telling my friends a story in the break about the other friend. I had. Drew ain't. Nobody we know listens That's to this That's true. Thing, so. Anyway, so Drew's stuck in an ice storm in Dallas, and he's like, I ain't going to make it. I ain't going to make it. He makes it to his apartment. Mm-hmm. He gets out. <laughs> He Mm-mm. starts going to the house. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Slips. Left foot hits the ice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Moves about four inches forward. Okay. He catches himself, but he loses all control. Uh-oh. That's right. Yeah. Right yep. there in front of his apartment. Yep. That's it, boys. Hey, that's it. Hey. He's the quietest guy. Okay. Imagine my best friend being super quiet, but he has to be. Hey, don't slip when you're it in the It is the greatest story he can tell, and I laugh Every hey, time he tells it. Don't ever, don't ever slip on ice when you're in a bind. <laughs> he hit that ice. He said, get to the bathroom. Yeah. Poor planning. Well, oh. he just, yeah. I mean, he probably had to squat to catch himself, too. So, I mean, like, it no. just. Yeah, you lose it. No, Shots it's, fired, it's, boys. That's it's, why I don't hey, live where I is. one of them assumed the position, and he did, and it was too late. Yeah. Well, I mean, who <laughs> hadn't done Well, I ain't done it like that. But, I mean, who? But, back you know, to I've your, done it. Well, I, golf courses get me every like, time. Actually, My childhood in golf courses, like, there's been many underwear thrown away there. I wish I could tell you how many times I come back from fishing pantless, so it's fine. <laughs> but, you Martin, know. there's a story of a life jacket and Curly. Oh, yeah, old Curly. Curly, which Curly? <laughs> Curly Dawn. Curly Dawn. Not Curly, 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 Curly Dawn. No, he got in a he got We in a have bind. multiple friends hey, named Curly. Si, have you heard this story? Yeah, oh, no. oh, yeah, he was there. No, no. Hey, si, it, was, si was, was part of the aftermath. Here's the thing. We got a boat run. You okay. go, you put the boat in the blind, okay? Mm-hmm. And there's a door you get into. All right. Yep. And, and, got, so you and are load, y'all hunting on this day? Oh, yeah. So you load and unload at the door. Okay. So, hey, we pull up in there, and guess what's at the door? A snake? He done dropped a big, you know. A deuce. Hey. At maybe the, even a deuce and a half. And then we look in the, in on the, the boat. Door? Then we're on looking the doorway at, to get in into the, the duck blind. Yeah. Here's a big People cotton name. mouth. <laughs> it wasn't no cotton mouth. <laughs> it looked like one. I'd have rather <laughs> had a cotton mouth. I'd pick him up and get him out the yeah. way. Hey, he looked like one. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, okay, then we look. And Mega. Over, yeah, then we look, and there's the- uh, uh, One of our life, life jackets. Life jacket, and it's got a big smear on it. <laughs> Street. <laughs> Yeah. My man took a, du- a dump yeah, in the, in the doorway, doorway of anymore. the duck blind yeah. and then wiped wipe. his rear end yeah. with our life jacket. With a life jacket. <laughs> and left it hey, there for hey, us hey. to find. Yeah, and now, left it. Now that's banned for life. Uh, he is. He left it there for us hey. to find, didn't tell nobody. And so I was right. You get in there in the morning, your flashlight hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's not, a snake is way less scary. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, this thing, yeah. I, mean, I understand why he had to get it out, because if not, he was going to be sick. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, but I hey, get it. But, hey, just hang it out the door and let it drop in oh, the water. Or if you have to do it on the floor, <laughs> yeah. at hey. least take a stick and yeah. throw it in the water. Yeah. yeah. Like, he, treat it like a dog He turd. was proud yeah. of it, apparently. <laughs> yeah. If he Curly <laughs> is proud of a lot of things that he shouldn't necessarily be proud of. That's the problem. Burn the life jacket. <laughs> Just Hold carry on. it home with you. Wash I, it off. Yeah. Do something. Bring it back. I, no, don't bring it back. <laughs> but I mean, I it's washed off. Expensive. Look, let me tell you something. You don't get to name Curly Dawn by making decisions better than that. So but, I'm just but, saying, but, right. but it fits. We do need to go down a road here because <laughs> one of us has been banned for life from down there. And it was for way less than that. <laughs> so has Curly ever been back? No. Not that I'm aware no. of. Oh, okay. That's so a that sounds that was like a, a legitimate band. band. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was just I was about to stick up for you, Phil. Oh, okay, thanks. If 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 he wasn't banned for life. That's no. the first time today, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a fun one. I'm just saying. <laughs> you talk about snacks no, and are, troublesome dumps, and I well, mean, hey, there's some things that's a good that you time. just don't do. That's one of them. Yeah, that's a DED. That's a don't yeah, ever don't do. Don't ever do. Don't go take a crap in a man's duck blind or <clears throat> yeah. deer stand, and wipe it with her life jacket or seat, boat cushion, yeah. anything, and leave yeah. it. And leave, and look, leave here, no evidence. I've got some advice also. 
Like, me, and, me and Sarah made a rule a long time ago of a courtesy roll. You're driving down the road with your buddy, you roll the window down when you need to, roll it right back up. No questions, don't even talk about it. Oh, it's way funny. Is that funny. right, Sarah? No. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. not a fun rule. That's a courtesy yeah. roll. No, that's what you do with your buddies. That's yeah. right. With your wife, you lock the windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I can't yeah. get in. <laughs> especially if one You reach wrong. over and hit child lock. Bye. Hey, yeah, especially if it's one of them silent but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> the one where, where she goes hey, like this. The, the problem is when she fights back. That's right, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not going into yeah. this conversation. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> nope, nope. Let Why? it go. You know Allison ain't this, listening. This must That's be a point. A, this must be a family thing. <laughs> oh, it's just there no, is nothing is... better than ripping one in the car, going down the road, and, and just waiting, waiting for the reaction. <laughs> no, you can't do that with your buddies. Oh yeah, you can. No. No. You just sit there and you go. <laughs> no, buddy. It wasn't, it wasn't me. Seven. The human six, race is sick. Five. No, buddies. I, I don't do that with buddies. <laughs> buddies, they get the they get the window down well, yeah. before you exit. Okay. You exit. Yep. Give it about a ten count and then put it back up. I like it. Hey, hey. Your wife, you hit the child. Hey, no, no. <laughs> this is the funniest thing. Because it's the equivalent of pulling a sheet over her head at night. Look, we're in like, one. Here, we're get in, you some of that. We're in one of them black limousines in New York City. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's True big story. time, y'all. I the was whole, there. Hey, Miami hey, bathrooms, the New York no, limousines. No, no. hey, German life. bathroom. The whole family, right. okay, and Jessica. Uh-oh. Bus one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay? Look. <laughs> no hey, way. Hold yeah. on now. I can see look. the title now. Which hold Roberts up. and wife cut when? No. Yes. Hold on. Look. Hey, yes. get the mic. The guy slammed on the brakes, <clears throat> the on. driver, and says, hey, I will stop and throw all of you out if whoever did that does that again. Because it was violent. <laughs> and it was So hey, guess what? We pulled up to to Fox and Friends. She let it bust again. <laughs> Sweet Jessica? Yeah. Do you know why? Like we laugh. She eats Sonic Chili Cheese Tots <laughs> like three times a day. <laughs> Like that's legit. <laughs> like, hey, you can't she's eat, gonna be mad. Hey, you, you can't eat that much pre-made chili and not have bowel disruption. Hey, is this you like a fun family joke, or is she embarrassed by this? Oh no, no! Hey, this was the greatest thing. We all got high fives when we got out. <laughs> Also, there's a significantly higher chance of Allison listening to this than Jessica, so we're oh, yeah. fine. <laughs> She'll never know. As long as Hunter don't tag her oh, in the post, oh, we'll be okay. fine. Oh, but hey, don't him, do it. That was priceless, okay? That's funny. Sai said they done got kicked out of a New York limousine because Jessica done cut wind. Well, oh, yeah. when you started on that story, I was I, my head was rolling. To who, Jep? Who was it? Yeah, and I went Jep to Jep. Was it it could have been a lot one. of people. Well, because Jep's got nervous bowel if there ever was one. <laughs> Jessica would probably have been my last guess. But she was no, laughing. Not, not last. She, I needed to uh, know the list. She up. thought it was funny, and she was laughing when she did it the hold first up. time. Hold on. She was laughing. Everybody else oh, was laughing. No. Not the driver. <laughs> I will pull, the driver, pull over. No. Nope. Yeah, the driver did not like it at all. That's, what was funny, it, it, I mean, you know, what was funny is when we got right, I, mean, I think she was sitting right next to him. And she would have done one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Leaned over. Raised up off of oh, it, son. I've heard a lot of being kicked out of things stories. The raise up. From all of us in our time. But being, being kicked out of a limousine for bad gas might top the list. Yeah, I but can I, never say I, that's I, even that's been threatened time. on me. But, I'm proud to know her. Uh, yeah. Yo, that was methane, methane gas, big time, boys. That's that mustard gas. <laughs> That's that chili cheese gas. I guarantee oh you. I bet you on the way to the airport, she stopped at Sonic. I'm just telling you right now. It's a great little food joint. That's uh, funny. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Pooping your pants, having gas, and eating snacks. Well, Welcome at some the, point, oh, you oh, knew we were going to degrade down to just a guy podcast. So. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just what it oh, is. My I mean, it's, hey, whatever. We're, Jessica's we're the apologize. biggest carter of us all. I'm, no comment. No comment. Other than let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. You're bound to be talking about my pillow. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about your pillow, my pillow, yeah. two point oh pillows, my towel, you know, my sheet. That's why I like my pillow because they didn't just settle for the pillow. They said, "How do we make this better?" And bam, my pillow, two And the cool thing about the two point oh, 
It's made right here. In the U.S. of A. Yep. How else are you going to put your face on a pillow with an American flag if you ain't going to make your stuff here? Thank That's you. what I'm talking about. He, Mike Lindell puts his money where his mouth is. We love bringing jobs back to America. Core body temperature plays a big role in how well you sleep. The new MyPillow 2.0 has brand new temperature regulating technology that keeps you comfortable throughout the night. We all probably get a little hot at night. You, your pillow don't need to be the one that makes you that way. Mm-mm. Let your pillow keep you cool. Keep your head cool. Keep everything else cool. The fabric technology helps regulate your body temperature through the night by creating a lower surface temperature for a more restful night's sleep. And look, since it's a fiber and not a finish, it's going to last the whole time you got the pillow, which is mm-hmm. forever because it's a 2.0. Forever and ever. I mean, it's better than the 1.0. The other one wasn't even a 1.0. It's just my pillow. This is my pillow 2.0. 2.0. So, you know, they thought they had the best and they made it better. The my pillow 2.0 has a knife edge seam, no gusset, and it's available in four loft levels. They're washable and dryable. And when you have young children, I can tell you how important those two things are right there. So, there's a 10 year warranty and a 60 day money back guarantee, but you won't need it because we know you're going to love them. Look, we sleeping on them at night. It's unbelievable. Still using a towel, still wearing the slippers. Yep. Still sleeping in the sheets. Yep. They're that good, folks. Look, and again, made in the U.S. of A. My pillow is actually having a massive closeout sale right now and on all season slippers while supplies last. Go to mypillow.com slash duck to get the all new My Pillow 2.0, the slippers and all the My Pillow products. Right now, get the all new My Pillow 2.0 and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code duck. Not one, but two my pillow 2.0s again just go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck for a buy one get one on the my pillow 2.0 and a huge closeout on slippers or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck order now because when they're gone they're gone Well, let's try to get back on the podcast that we're we're familiar with i don't really even know (laughs) so the um, fish are biting oh boy (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't, where do we, where do you go from there? How did we even get there? Martin was making a list of why stories. he couldn't why I couldn't be on uh, a yeah, judge. Then we ended, yeah, then we yeah, ended up uh, there. We yeah, ended up uh, that bathroom attendant some, in Miami sent us all the okay. way down here. I got a cousin that lives in Atlanta, and he was asking me that they're they're about to do a podcast. Um, it's it should be a pretty big one, I think. But he was asking me. I think he's going to be like the producer. He's like, what? So y'all got like, he's been watching ours. Like, so the plan going in is what? And I go, sit, <laughs> sit down. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, he goes, then do. what? I say, and then see what size says, see what Martin says, see what I say. And then we kind of roll. Yeah. So, we, we get about three minutes before the cameras come on. We look at each other, <laughs> talk to each other, kind of get a feel for it. And then there we go. We're already telling stories before. The cameras at the beginning. On. I used to try and have like an outline to keep us on. And yeah. then I figured out, you know what? Yeah, no. He's the uh, he's the outline breaker. Hey, so why even hey, try? And it, 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 but if I put him on an outline, he's not going to be him. So like, no. there's no, you know, no, just let him freaking go. You know and, what I've noticed? The best moments on this podcast are when Sai says, "Oh, that reminds me." Uh-huh. <laughs> well, no, and that's no. whenever I get excited. I'm, My whole life has been that way. I'm way more interested in more black limousine stories. That's all I got to say. I wrote two books. Okay, and they're about my childhood. You can get them on duckcommander.com or available yeah. in the store. No, Slash okay. duck. <laughs> yeah, probably, hey. That might not be true. <laughs> yeah. So I get to roll. I'm so. improv. You yeah. are improv. Hey. You're it, improv it's always, and proper. It's always good. It's and, always, improv yeah. is always good. I don't disagree with yeah, that. I would love to see Sal on Whose Line Is It Anyway. Is that still a show? No, <laughs> oh, Willie yeah. was on oh, no. it. Was he? Yeah, I never watched yeah. it. Man. Which was part of my. Oh job. no, that there, it is amazing what they can come up with. Yeah, yeah, just, sir. Just, it's amazing what you come up well, with. Well, no, no, oh no, because hey, especially when they get in the singing part. Yeah, well, when you're they, a singer. The, when the girl, the the piano player, a woman, and a guitar, mm-hmm. when they start hitting it, and then the here they go. Who knew Cy was such a whose line is it oh, anyway Oh, no, no, fan? no. I watch it all the time and on the floor. Okay? How much TV do you watch? Especially only being awake like six hey, hours a day. That's what I'm like. I'm going through And one of the hours day. is here. Hey. And two of the hours are on Western. Yeah, but I've got to do something when I'm awake. I think he leaves it on and sleeps and he just gets all this by osmosis. Like it just gets in there. What if Cy's really awake while he sleeps? Well, he no, said he no, sleeps no. with his eyes open. No, no, I don't sleep really. I, I, how do I word this? Uh-oh. I don't have 
uh, I guess, restful sleep. He doesn't hit that REM sleep. He ain't no, in that no. REM cycle. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I wake up all the time during the night and in the early morning, especially early morning. I'm aware. I've stayed with you. you know, that's why I tell people all the time, y'all say God has not got a big, good sense of humor. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Because, hey. <laughs> He crack you up all the time. Oh, no, no. Hey, he, we, we have some of the most amazing minutes together, okay? Because he'll wake me up during the night and put something in my head, okay, that I have never thought of before in my life. Do you keep it in? Well, no, I usually share it with everybody. <laughs> he don't know. Okay, he can't keep nothing I can't, in. Yeah, I can't help keep it in. So, I got has anybody share. ever told you a secret? <laughs> no. Hey, they tell him what not to say, no. and that's the first they, thing he yeah, says. Yeah, if you ever say, okay, and if you watch Duck Dynasty, you know this to be true. Don't ever say, hey, don't do this. You know, because, hey, guess what? That's what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, you and Phil are that way. Like, Oh, yeah. I remember you used to have him a little breeze before we do things like, hey, now don't mention this, don't – that is the that's yeah. what they led with. Yeah. Like, okay, let's just don't, not even put the seed in their mind. Yeah, let's this, not even Hey, <clears throat> I kept telling them, hey, don't do that. You idiot. Idiots. <laughs> you know? And here we are. Because you've just stuck it in my brain pan, and guess what? It's gonna work its way out. <laughs> What's a brain pan? <laughs> a brain pan. It's like an oil it's like pan, a, yeah, but it's like got brain. Pan. And it's got less oil in it. it. Yeah. Yeah, and it may be a little, little low. Yeah, it's so, got a little sludge. In it. <laughs> yeah, a little sludge. At some events, they'll they'll have some cards and questions that they want to ask. I and I'll look through them before they do it. Uh, you got to get. And I'll start of taking them. out about four or five of them. They're like, "What do you?" I said, "Don't even talk about it. Just take those. <laughs> don't, don't ever mention this in yeah. front of side." No, no, because in Michigan, <laughs> uh -oh. the, the preacher when we was up there doing our thing together mm -hmm. Sunday morning, <clears throat> he asked me a question. And I would give him some kind of answer, and then he'd say, "Wait a minute, you're you're running, you're you're rabbit, you're ch you're chasing a rabbit on me." <laughs> he said, "I want you to answer this question," and I said, "Well, buddy, I, I I'm trying to answer the question. I'm trying I, to get there." Yeah, I said, "I'm trying to get there, but I don't know really what you're looking for." <laughs> that was so, on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. He said, "Hey, quit chasing rabbits." <laughs> no, no, because he would ask me, and he said, "Well, now hold it, you got it, you only." So he asked it again. And then I finally said, okay, I said, now I think I, I know where you're going with this. Because he had asked me, he said, well, when did you, when did, uh, why did it take you so long to, to come back to Jesus? Yeah, and I said, well, because I was afraid he wouldn't accept me because I'm not good enough. Yeah. That's why it took me so long to finally break down and say, "Yo, I, yeah, I need help." And he finally, then he, then he hushed. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I said, "Evidently, <laughs> I finally got the answer you wanted. You were looking me. for." <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you know what he said. You did. That is a male Robertson trait, if I ever heard one. Yeah. Yep. Because I remember asking Phil, like we did that 50th anniversary video, and I was doing the interview question for him, like, "Phil, what does 50 years mean to you?" Well, 2,000 years, years ago, <laughs> there was a man named Jesus. <laughs> From Nazareth. And I'm like, Phil, Good question, Martin. Phil, no. we, Phil, we can all share the yeah. gospel. Like, no, don't, yeah. don't, what, but can we, can we, get, asking, can we yeah. get this, what happened in 1972 first? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm asking about your company. <laughs> you know we're going to share the gospel yeah. in this thing. I, I was going to get there, but can we, can we answer what happened yeah, in 1972 yeah. first? <laughs> can we start at 50 years and we'll work our way to 2,022 years ago? Oh, it all starts but, 2,000 years ago, Martin. <laughs> but they're all the same way. Willie's the same way when you sit down and interview him. He got better about it. He finally was just like, just tell me what you want me to say. And I was like, okay, <laughs> praise God. <laughs> like, no. this is, okay. This, hey, we're, guys, we're this is Willie Robertson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, because it took this guy, this is about 45 minutes. He kept asking the same question. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I said, evidently, I'm not giving you what you want. And I said, I'm not sure what you're And you were just like that old beagle. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's an excellent hunter. Yo, here was a Harry went. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. I, yeah. Oh, I got him now, though. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's take a lot of the break, and we'll get back, and we'll get in that email bag right after this. Email bag right after this. That's right. 
hello at duckcallroom.com. That's the email address. We appreciate all y'all sending your snacks. We're going to do this bracket in the spirit of March Madness. We are doing the bracket. I know we're a weekend behind, but maybe we should do 32 because that's what... Nah, let's do 64 what just in is, case people want to send in a lot of snacks. What are you talking what about? What is we the people doing? We the people <laughs> are sending us snacks. Well, hey, find out what's in but the But hey, you don't inbox. have you can also just send suggestions. Suggestions yeah. if we can buy them, but again, I'm going to make the snack. bracket. I think. Yeah. Does that sound like a Send the suggestion and your probable seed number. That way we can take that yeah. into chocolate account. almond consideration seed right. if I've ever heard of one. Uh, no, that's a two uh, seed. You making the bracket or am I making the bracket? <laughs> Who's the committee here, man? <laughs> Two seed. He's the chairman. Uh, I'll split. I'll, I will be fair and unbiased. That's going to be Or hard I'll try to, to. Anyway, Sam from a student at UNC Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Is that like ULM? Yeah. UL, is that? Yeah, UNC Charlotte ain't a good one. Like for basketball, I'm <laughs> Easy, man. Like that's not the UNC you're thinking about. Sure. Okay. Right. So yeah. I, I'm just learning. It's a, but it's, I'm, I'm guessing it's in Charlotte, yeah. North Carolina. Um, he's planning a worship event. That's awesome, man. He needs. He's going to share a message afterwards. Okay. That's awesome, man. Do you have any advice for someone who it's their first time preaching? Keep it short. Land. The plane. Keep it short. And no, if you're no offense, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit child, I'm just kidding. No, I was, I was looking at the, the title of that. Yeah. Preaching message advice. Remember that the power lies in the message, not the messenger. That's right, not the messenger. That's exactly so right. Keep your message short, concise, to the point. And you're doing a worship event. Let the worship be the focus of the event. And and also, you can look at First Corinthians 15. That helps you to remind people about the good news about Jesus and the kingdom of God. What was the uh, one at the church? He always said, hey, if you ain't struck oil by about 15 minutes. Was that Bill Smith? I think it no, was. it was another it was one Carl of the Allison. elder. Carl? Carl Allison. Carl? Yeah. Drew's grandpa from the yeah. dump story earlier. Yeah. Uh, hey, <laughs> he was, he was saying, hey, if you ain't struck oil by 15 minutes, you know, hey. It's it's a dry hole. Yeah, don't keep Move digging. But, yeah, <laughs> don't don't keep don't keep drilling. Yeah, yeah okay? and don't say uh fifty million times. Uh, yeah. uh careful now. Uh, what do you uh, do right. that? No, I Look, don't. You getting the medal in now? Somebody you know does. That's right. Yeah, but you getting the medal now? You ain't preaching. Oh, <laughs> and they're talking uh, about they're talking about me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyways, no. my advice. The person I'm referring to is not here. Oh, okay. My advice for. Any public speaking is you're gonna be nervous. Mm -hmm. Don't you don't have to say that. Use it. Yeah. Every time I see, yeah, use, use it. it. But every time I, I see somebody get up and like, I'm oh, nervous. this is my first time. I'm so nervous, guys. <laughs> that makes you more nervous. Yeah. yeah. Just get up there with fake confidence, and it will turn into real confidence. Mm -hmm. And I would say, don't look everybody in the eye when you're up in front of however many people. You look at the crowd. Yep. You know, and you pick, actually look through them. Yeah. And you pick. don't focus on anybody because sometimes if you look at somebody, you get lost. Halftime, yeah. I can't see nothing anyway. They got them yeah. lights shining on you. You can see about two rows of people yeah. and everybody else yeah. just, just a blur. And I got one other trick that I do at church. You pick one person. And that's if you got to focus on somebody and you feel like you got to talk to somebody, just pick the nicest face you see and focus <laughs> on them. And you'll, you'll be looking at the crowd, but you're really just looking at that guy. Pick Wayne yeah. McDaniel. My my dude's name is Jim McWilliams. There you go. Jimmy Mack. I, if I ever do anything at our church, I'm like, Jim, you going to be there? And one time he wasn't. And I, I got way oh, no, because I was like, I always just, He freaked out. He wasn't there. I was Jimmy, like, Jim, I got it. Jimmy Mack. Yeah. I got to look at you, man. Yeah. Hey, That's funny. Out. Jim's awesome, dude. Um, well, there you go. But yeah. Best part is, hey, fake it till you make it. And the shorter <laughs> you get, really good speakers can do it quick. Yeah. I've never heard somebody say, man, that message was too short. <laughs> but I, uh, I've heard plenty of the other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, I expect you, you know, the longer you go, you start to repeat yourself. Mm -hmm. So, and that's always a bad thing. There you yeah. go, repeating. Kind of like we're doing right now. What's the next one? Kind of like we're doing uh, right now. What's the next one? Yeah. <laughs> How heavy we want to go? <laughs> I don't matter. We we got about four minutes, four or five minutes. Super heavy? Yeah. Heavy. Medium heavy or super heavy? Yeah, Si looks like he's in a philosophical mood. Go That's with heavy. Right. Hey, go bring for it. it. Bring it. Well, we got the counselor here, so let's go That's super right. heavy. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, there you All go. Right. And he's a professional. 
That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, Will from Castilian Springs, Tennessee. Night shift worker loves listening. Um, makes the nights go by quicker. Uh, people actually look at him funny a lot because he starts laughing. People look at me funny all the time, not for that reason. So we're in the same boat. Uh, anyway, life has hit a low point. Five years married. She's decided she's out. Says she, He says it's because he doesn't communicate with her good enough, and she's sick of it. But he's tried to convince marriage counseling, and she's out on that too. She just says, I'm done. She's tired. He And then he says, would love to hear from us. Mm. That's tough, man. Mm. And I hate that. Amen. It's not fun. And I, but to be fair, marriage is hard. Mm -hmm. Like it's difficult. It it is not all sunshine and rainbows. The good times are, but then bad times get in there, and that's that's a. But Brittany gets on me all the time for not communicating, but I'm just not a very effective communicator. Because like the problem is, she thinks stuff should bother me, and stuff doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. That doesn't even like get on my radar. Um, it just that's just one of them deal. I guess it's a difference between a male and a female, maybe. Oh yeah. Um, but you know, we 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 have done counseling, and we will continue to do counseling from time to time to keep everything fresh. And and I don't know. Maybe she begged you for count. I don't. I don't know the whole story we here. In five years of time, it just seems weird that she would say no to counseling. That that I find that puzzling. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot that we don't know, but what we tend to do is we create a um, constructed reality about what we think marriage is, and a lot of times it's not like that for for the man and the woman. She seems to have gone in a direction where, you know, she's she's kind of saying it's over and she's not willing to do anything. So you're limited now, where you have to do some self preservation. What, um, what, uh, how long did it say they was together? Five. Five years? Five years married. Yo, yo, I, I'm thinking of you only right now, because like Philip said, yeah. she's, she's to the point that she's said, hey, I, I, I'm done. Okay, so this is for you. That's clear communication, too. Yeah, to saying, okay. hey, I'm done. Yeah, yo, this is for you. <clears throat> Don't let her problem become yours. Okay. I wish you, you know, I hope you can talk her into trying to work it out. But if you can't, and like, like I said, she's already made up her mind. It seems like that she's done with it. So, Hey, this is to protect you. Okay. From further relationships. Okay. Don't let this one bad thing, you know, ruin you for the rest of your life. She's got a problem. Especially if she don't want to work it, try to work it out with you, that it's just what I, I'm feeling. She's the one with the problem. Yep. Okay. So, I, like I said, if you can't convince her, hey, let's go to someone and let a third person get involved with us on this and see if we can't work this out. <clears throat> But if she don't want to go that route, then, hey, don't let all the blame come on you. Yep. Yeah, and guilt and everything else. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's time to rebuild. And if if, if you, I would say, uh, like, Sai, I hope it works out. I want it to. Yeah. And I would pray for your marriage to, to make it. But if it doesn't, and you know it's not going to make it, then in the best way possible, you try to rebuild your life and your relationships and be supported by, you know, your family and friends that you have and also uh, some spiritual change, you know. I mean, don't get, be afraid of independent counseling either. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just because yeah, she right. won't go doesn't yeah. mean that you can't. Yeah. You I might like need that. to go and then she may follow. Yeah. You might need to be the leader there and say, look, I've realized I've screwed up because you've screwed up somehow, some way for it to be over yeah but there's, there's two two and involved. there's definitely two involved yeah there's yeah. there's both sides of this story and yeah. the truth somewhere in the middle but you've screwed up she's screwed up so if you take that first step and say look i know you don't want to do this but i'm i've got to work on me because clearly i've messed up some things i'm going that's probably your first step yeah yeah i would i i would start there i mean if that's where if she's not willing to go then 
maybe she needs to just see that you are willing to go rather than the words. Maybe you I need like to that. go. Yeah. Um, and, admit, and it may not change anything, but I can tell you that you're not going to be mad that you went and talked to somebody. Not at all. You're not no. going to be like, dang, I wish I hadn't done that. Yeah. Um, so I, I. Well, it's always good. Like they're, like they're telling you right now, these guys, okay, you've messed up. Okay. Get with a counselor. Okay. And find out where you messed up. Where, hey, you don't repeat the process with another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't don't start a cycle. Yeah, don't like don't like break the cycle. That's that's good. Um, You know, don't stay in the rut. Get out of the rut. You know. But I man, it's weird. I I I hate to hear that. Yeah, man. I for any of y'all listening, we pray that that, hey, you can convince her to go to counseling with you, and you can actually work it out and save your marriage. Okay, because you're talking about your partnership here mm -hmm. between two people. Amen. Okay. But and, to those listening that may be yeah. thinking about getting married or engaged or anything like it, you hear it all the time. I'm just here to tell you, it is tough. Marriage is like a garden. It gets better. Okay. We're in a way better spot now at, what are we, eight years? About to be yeah. eight years yeah. than we were at year two. I can tell you right now. You have to work. <laughs> you have to, hey, you have to work at it. Okay. Yeah. It's just like a garden. Weeds pop up and hey, look, if you don't pull the weed your garden ain't gonna be very good yeah and i would also say yeah. i'll be married 31 years coming up here in, in a couple of weeks um but i'll say rem- remember if you're thinking about getting married it's a contract between you and your spouse and, and god. god almighty yep. so let god help you through any situation that you're going through and as me and my wife are growing closer to god we get closer to each other so that's always been paramount in our relationship yeah, hundred percent. I think that was great advice all the way around. Well, I got a Bible verse for you too, man. Uh, we're gonna be praying for you, Will. But James one twelve says, "Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love Him." You're going through a trial. You're gonna have to keep going through it. There is another side to it. We don't know what that looks like, but we'll be praying for the best outcome. And that's it. Love it. All right. We'll see you next time right here with snacks. With snacks. With snacks. Oh, boys. man, I love snacks. I got a one seed in mine right now. <laughs> he got a one you seed. You ain't got boy. no one seed. What is it? Say it. So he's recording. No, I'm fixing to go eat me some snacks.